Hey guys, today we are going to look at exponential regression. We're going to answer the question, how can data be modeled with an exponential equation and how can I use a regression equation to solve problems? So we have done linear regression, which is when our data is generally in the shape of a line. And then we've done quadratic regression. A lot of the times it was actually a flipped parabola when our data was in the shape of a parabola. And then we're going to use exponential regression for data that increases or decreases rapidly. So that's all that this is saying. Often real world data rapidly increases or decreases like an exponential curve. So we can use exponential regression on graphing calculators to write the equation for the equation of best fit by following the steps below. So these are the steps on a TI calculator. I have this app, this pink one right here called Calculate 84 pulled up. It looks a little bit different than the TI-84 calculators, but it pretty much does the same thing and it has the same steps. So I'm going to go ahead and follow those. So just like with linear and quadratic regression, you will click stat, enter, and then you will put the X values in L1 and the Y values in L2. And then to calculate the equation of best fit, we will do stat, we'll arrow over to calc, We've done four linear regression and five quadratic regression. This time we're gonna go down to zero for exponential regression. So let's look at this first situation. It says the following data represents the amount of money Shea has in his in account each year for six years. So I need to put this in the stat plot first. So I'm gonna do stat enter. And then in L1, I will put all of the years since 2010, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then in L2, I will put all of the Y values or the amount of money. So that would be 20,000, 21,225, 22,357, 23,620, 25,088, 26,482, and 27,978. Okay, now I need to calculate the equation of best fit, so I'm going to do stat, calc, and then this is exponential regression. Okay, and my A value is 20,018.96, and then my B value, I'm going to round that to 1.06. So it says, what is the equation of best fit? It would be Y equals 20,018.96 times 1.06 to the X. And then the next question is, does this model grow through decay? Well, the B value is greater than one. So this is growth. Then it says, what is the average annual rate of return? So since this is a growth function, that means that they used one minus R or one plus R to get the 1.06 B value. So if I subtract one, that will tell me what R is, and R is 0 0.06. So that means that they had a 6%, because I have to convert the decimal back to a percent, a 6% average annual rate of return. Then it says, how much money will he have in 2022? The table was years since 2010, and 2022 is 12 years after 2010. So I'm going to substitute in 12 for x in this function. So I will do 2 or 20,000, 18.96 times 1.06 to the 12th to tell me how much money he'll have in 2012. So 20,018.96 times 1.06 to the 12th is 40,000, $282.08. 
Okay, let's look at number two. Since 2017, the Western Pacific leatherback sea turtle population has been declining at an exponential rate. The table shows the estimated population of sea turtles each year since 2017. And the first question is asking us for the equation of best fit. So I'm going to go to the stat plot by clicking stat and then enter. And then I need to clear out the L1 and L2 values. Make sure you do not hit the delete while you are on L1 or L2 because that will delete the entire rows. You just want to delete the values. Okay, now the years since 2017 will go in L1 and the turtle population will go in L2. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, go in L1, and 1,400, 1,321, 1,248, 1,178, 1,112, and 1050 go in L2. Okay, now I want the exponential regression so I'm going to go to stat, I go over to calc, and then I go down to zero for exponential regression. Okay, so the A value is 1,399.76, and then the B value is 0.94. So my equation for the equation of best fit would be Y equals A is 1,399.76 times 0 0.94 to the x. Okay, then it says what is the average rate of decay? So remember we do 1 minus the rate in decay and that's how we got the 0.94. And that means that r would be 0.06 to because 1 minus 0 0.06 is 0.94. So we are decaying 6%. And then the last question for this one says, what would you expect the sea turtle population to be in 2030? Well, it's years since 2017, and 2030 is 13 years since 2017. So I'm going to substitute in x equals 13 into that equation that we got, and that will tell me the expected sea turtle population in 2030. So it'll be y equals 1,399.76 times 0 0.94 to the 13th. So 1,399.76 times 0.94 times 0 0.94 to the 13th. And we would expect there to be about 626 sea turtles. Okay, last example, it says the value of a stamp has increased throughout the years. The table below shows the value of a stamp in cents for each year since 1998. And it's asking us for the equation of best fit again. So let's go to our stat plot by doing stat, enter. And I'm going to delete the values underneath L1 and L2. Okay, and the years since 1980, 1998 will go in L1 and the years or in the stamp cost will go in L2. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the cost was 32 cents, 33 cents, 33 cents, 34 cents, 37, and 37. And now I want the equation of best fit, so I'm gonna do exponential regression by going to stat, arrowing over to calc, and going down to zero. And I get the A value is 31.689, so that would round to 31.69. So it's going to be Y equals 31.69 times the B value is 1.03 to the X. And it says, by what percent is the price changing? Well, this was growth since we are increasing. So to get that 1.03 value, they did one plus the rate. 
So that means that the rate must have been 0 0.03 or 3%. And then the last question says, what would you expect to pay for a stamp in 2018? The table started in 1998 and 2018 is 20 years after 1980, 1998. So I'm going to plug in X equals 20 into that equation to figure out the price of an expected stamp in 2018. So 31.69 times 1.03 to the 20th is what I'll put in the calculator. 31.69 times 1.03 to the 20th. We would expect it to be about 57.23 cents.